boys. I know it's been a long day, but if you will, please look at your sticker. If it's above the number 4,000 now, we're going to try and bring you to our stage. It's been a long day. A long day. We've been waiting. Because we're saving the best for last. I want that chance to get on stage in front of those people. I want to show them what I've got. You know, you just want to applaud everybody. And in reality, it's not everyone goes through. You didn't make it. Right. Well, you gave it your yeah. best shot. You look good. You look good. You look good. So you going to come back next year? Maybe next time. Um, last act of the day. We got like six minutes to get this done. Let's move it along. My name's Paul Thomas Mitchell. I'm 18, and I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. You're going to play this for us today? Yeah. You're going to have some vocals to go with it. Yeah, hopefully. That's what, hopefully good vocals. Are. When I was little, I picked up guitar, and I taught myself. It's like a way for me to just escape the world. That sounds weird, but it's just both my parents were alcoholics. <clears throat> my mom was a drug addict, and uh, my mom left, left us. When my mom left, my dad kind of ignored me, and he didn't care. <clears throat> like, he couldn't support me. He was just hiding behind all the alcohol, and it was just really hard. Music was a way that I could cope with my feelings and get those emotions out. Do you want some time Do you, before you go out? Finally, my dad got AA classes and became better. He started hanging out with me more, and I felt like I had someone I could come to. You know, the change he did to become the dad he is for me today, the most supportive, loving father, it was just like, that's the chance for me to make something of myself. This is gonna be your vocal mic? Every time I strum a chord and sing, that's just a way for me to, you know, I give back to my dad. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Go have a good time. What's your name? Uh, Paul Thomas Mitchell. So I see you're a singer? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm going to be singing a song that I wrote. You wrote your own song? Yes, ma'am. Very nice. And what is this song about? Uh, it's called My Life. And uh, it's just, it's for my dad. You know, I grew up as both my mom and dad being uh, alcoholics. And my dad changed his life around for me to have the life that I can. And it's just for him. Well, I wish you all the luck. Let's hear your song. That's right. I hope your dreams come alive And you never let them crush I hope you live life too slow Cause it's too fast to rush when you live and you learn I hope you never learn enough The sky is not the limit So act like you were flying Cause people will always tell you About that other side How the grass is always greener And the sun it always shines
Thank you. You obviously are an emotional person, and that emotion came through on the stage. That's what I look for in a singer. I like the tune, and I think you sold it as a performer. So you're a double whammy. I think you have star power. I have high hopes for you in this competition. Whatever you go through in life, there's a reason, you know? You have to climb, you have to struggle, you have to hurt, you have to feel the pain. Because when you reach that moment, when you reach that peak, you feel it, and you have just hit the peak. I think you've just touched, not just us, but the whole of America. Thank you. Let's go. I loved your performance. It's a yes for me. Thank you. It's a yes for me. Hands down, yes. Thank you. I'm going to say yes. And it's a yes for me, too. You are going to laugh at me. Different velvet tone. I love that guy. You wish your father was here. If he was here, what would you say to him right now? Just give him a hug. Man. I couldn't even. Well, I don't even know. Give him a hug for you. <laughs> Mommy, Mitchell was great. He sounded like John Mayer, didn't he? Yes, he did. He had a record out. I would buy. Hey. Hey, Dad. I'm going to Vegas. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad, bud. I think we found some great talent, but more than that, I think we opened America's eyes up to the beauty and the culture that only lives, only here in New Orleans. Good night.